Hello everyone, welcome back to A Garden Named Bill. It is Sunday, June 2nd, 2019. As you can see, Christopher is not here and I am in his place. My name is Bridget, I'm Christopher's wife. My, my apologies for the lack of editing and lack of charisma, but I'm going to do a quick little garden update for you here um, in this beautiful Sunday in June. <laughs> We've been growing this plant for about nine months or so, and as you can see, she is just growing, 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 and really greening up. Here we are in week nine with our overview shot from the southeast part of the garden. The lighting's a little bit odd, I apologize. And I think this might be new in the last week or so. We've got some creative place making, bring in this spinny barbershop pool thing. So next we've got our week ahead and obviously Christopher will be back and progress will actually be made in the garden. So we'll see what um, planting he does and weeding. Most things are kind of just underway and I don't know that we're getting anything new in the garden, but it'll be really fun to just see how things grow and explode. We've got really great weather, lots of um, sunny days, but also a lot of rain. So the perfect mix of things for a healthy garden in June. Here are some of our highlights. We've got some recent plants starting to grow here and we'll hopefully eventually get up here on these new trellises. Um, across the way you can see that we've got tremendous growth over there. Um, the raspberries through here are just exploding. And that'll be exciting to hopefully get some raspberries, which are my favorite, shortly. Lots of plants, lots of growing. As you can see we've got some nice buds on these. It's gooseberry, I believe this is. Um, I harvested some rhubarb earlier this weekend. We've still got a lot left, and I'm planning to try to freeze some. Found out that the baby likes rhubarb, especially when you mix it with sweet things like apples and strawberries. So um, a little tip there. There's Moose ready to play with Roddy outside of Bill. Um, I also had some spinach this week and there's still a lot in here. So Christopher, trust me, I've been eating it, but it is just growing a lot. So plenty of spinach for everyone. We have some seedlings over here growing and all of those protected ones are seem to be doing really well. Um, besides the ones that have been knocked over. So most of them are still upright and growing, growing, growing. Lots of really great things happening in these new hanging baskets. And asparagus continuing to grow. We've got some really huge height considering a week ago this plant wasn't there at all. Or you couldn't see it at all. It was under the earth. And spaghetti squash new. I need some water. Other than that, everything is looking just beautiful and we can't wait to cook and make food and store food and share food um, as we go through this summer. I also had some radishes this week, so radishes are growing, spinach and a rhubarb we have consumed and obviously as you can hear Lottie, she is missing her dad. So we will be so excited to welcome him back and see what new adventures lie ahead of us in the garden um, in June. Fruit trees are doing really nicely. No storms have weathered them and they are looking awesome even in Chris's absence. So anyways, sorry this video is not as cool as anything Christopher would make, but uh, 
know that he will be back soon and subscribe like ring the bell leave a comment all those good things and happy gardening